Hello and welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's been a few days since I posted the last one uh, where I haven't filmed, but I thought I'd start today's weekly vlog by opening a new toy, or rather it's out of necessity, because as you know, Bo, for some reason, and we're still trying to figure out why, has decided that he will not use our cat litter, cat litter trays, of which we have two, of which are cleaned very frequently, um, and basically whenever the cats do anything in them, it's always scooped out, so it's not because that they need replacing or anything. He's just decided over the past few weeks, really, maybe a month, that he does not want to use them, and so he uses two pieces of carpet, and of course it's brand new carpet, and it's been driving me up the wall. So, I have been suggested by, by Roger, from Roger's uh, Bits and Doings and Ibasiac, um, that this would be a really good cleaner, and it is the Bissell Spot Clean Pet Pro Portable Carpet and Upholstery Washer. This is also good for upholstery, so I will be giving, um, at a much later date, the sofas and chairs a really good going over with this. But it's just come in, I've ordered some extra fluid, and where's my scissors gone? I've ordered some extra fluid to go with it, so I'll show you that in a moment. But I just wanted to get it unboxed, and then I'm going to test it out because I really need to get get clean. So let's get this out. Here we go. Oh, I think I have the culprit. Number one culprit is here. Hello. Now, it was on offer from the main Bissell store. You can get it from Amazon, so I will leave an Amazon link. In fact, I think Amazon had money off as well. But you can get it from the Bissell store. I had no trouble ordering it, although the deep uh, pet cleaning tool was out of stock when I initially ordered, so I've had to order it separately when it came in. Um, but that is on its way. Okay, there's all the all the plastic. Pop that on the floor. So what have we got here? Um, it says a powerful 750 watt motor, separate extra large. Now this is why it's it's um, pet. So I did ask Roger about, you know, the difference between the regular one and the pet one. And I think one of the main differences is it's got these two separate tanks that can split the fluids up so that all the dirty sort of urine and all the, all the mess can go into one so you don't have it in the other or something of that nature. Uh, and there's a specialised tools for pet messes. Well, I definitely 100% need those. So I'm going to be very careful just in case... There is anything wrong with it and i don't know for some reason it needs to go back <laughs> i'm hoping not because i hate sending things back are you one of those people that if you get something it's almost more hassle to send it back than what it is to just keep it uh, i am one of those people right let's get into this okay instructions who needs those uh, <laughs> yes i know so yeah Ooh. Ooh, what's this? This is the um, some kind of cleaning tool with like a little that on it. Yeah. Okay. I'll put all these put all these to one side. Ooh, and that's a. Ooh, that must be the sucker upper. I'm sure there's a technical name for these for these nozzles. Ooh, that's a fluid. So to get some fluid with it, this is the wash and protect pet stain and odor. Uh, Bo is very interested to see what's in this box. Of course he is. Pop that there so we can have a look. Ooh, and here is the main, the main implement. So let's get that out. And then there's another instruction. And there's nothing else, I don't think, in this box. So, no. So Bo can have this box because he loves boxes. There you go. You want that one? You can that one if you want. There we go. He'll probably be in the box. So here is the main, the main debris. Right. Ooh, okay. So it's very portable. Looks like it's good for, you could do your car as well. I think you could do car, car upholstery with that. It looks like you've got quite a long, thick cable. That's a very, it's almost like, it's like rubber. Uh, thinking about it being a wet product um, that deals with water, it seem, seems quite safe. Um, and I'm going to have to learn where all these... I am going to have to read the instructions, aren't I? Oh, I hate it. Right. Oh, this looks like the um, the nozzle. The nozzle snozzle. There's the hose. I think it pulls out even more. Ooh, there you go. And then I presume... 
I presume this just sort of sits on there, maybe? I don't know. Oh, like that. There we go. There we go. Who needs instructions? So you must put something in. Works best when used slowly. Empty the tank when full. Okay, well, it's uh, that obviously comes off to empty some bristles. That looks like the stain trapper nozzle. And there's a small one. So I think it does the same thing, except if you want it for a small. Okay. And this is the, yeah, the wash and protect stain. Right. I need to set up and then I might show you myself doing it. Oh, well, I've had to look at the instructions, haven't I? Right. So there is no words. So I'm glad that it is just pictures. But the pictures are very confusing because the first one, you have to unravel the hose. Then you put what looks like this one on. But then it's got you can put the other one on, the one that I put on, which is that one with the little tank. So which one is it? Is it that one or is it that one? Or does it just matter? Can you just choose? And then obviously that clicks on. That's how you unwind the um, the cable. Then what do you do? Do you put water in there? But then how much of the fluid do you put in? Where do you, oh, it's there you put the fluid. But how much do you put in? Oh, I don't know. See, they, although it's pictures, they aren't very clear. So Rory's, Rory's trying to get in the box over there. Um, so I don't know. And then there's another page where it looks like you're putting it away, but then there's something that goes in there. And then there's these, and I don't understand what the difference is. Is it like you're using it like a bucket? I mean, I don't know. This is confusing. Really, really, really. I think I, think I do need some words. At least to explain, because this isn't words in terms of instructions. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh dear. Oh dear. What am I going to do? Okay, I've just opened my other package and I do actually have the deep reach tool here. So I don't know if this is the one that I ordered separately that they put in the same box or whether it's one that's come with it. it did, I don't think it said it did, but anyway, that's the deep reach for the carpet pile. Looks good. Anyway, I've got this tank off. So it's got a fill line and it says water plus 59 milliliters of formula. You unscrew that. So I'm thinking that goes there. Um, but I think that's the formula. But it says something about use the measuring cup provided. Um, on here, it says something about uh, fill the measuring cup provided. There is no measuring cup, girl. Girl, there is none. Um, so do I just... Put 59 millilitres of formula in here and then add the water up to there. I'm thinking maybe. I found the cup. It was on the big size one. So in the in the other box, I've ordered some additional liquids. Anyway, it's not on the little one. It's on the big one. And really, if you look very closely, you can see it does have some fill lines. So I'm going to fill up this. and I'm going to I'm going to do a whole cup because the stain is well, it's not stained. It's there's been a lot of wee, so I'm going to fill it up and then I'll put the rest of water and we'll see what happens. Right, so I think I've worked it out. You literally <laughs> just, you hold down, you turn it on, you hold down that nozzle, it ejects the, the fluid and water, you go over it a few times slowly, then you take your finger off the trigger and then it starts to suck up all the stuff that's there. The deep cleaning tool is really good for getting into the pile and then any, all the all the waste, it sucks up into this tank at the front. Now, there is a little sick stain here. So I noticed this the other day. It's one that I didn't manage to get. Um, so I'm gonna try this carpet cleaner now on this, uh, it's probably a day old. So I will try it on that.
go. I've just finished tidying away all the boxes, recycling them. I've made room in my downstairs utility cupboard to put the actual Bissell machine. It doesn't take up too much room, actually. It's, it is really good. I am so impressed. To be honest, the whole experience with Bissell has been really, really good. So thank you very much, Roger, for recommending them because they were really good. Even when the deep cleaning tool was out of stock, as I said, they actually refunded me the um, delivery because I did have to order it separately um, but it came in the same order so that was really really good I can't fault them to be honest uh, and the cleaner worked so well it really was good it smells fresh it's sucked up I mean I've actually we were so excited by the color of the water it was yellow it was yellow I'm not gonna lie it was yellow and um, it even worked on the sick as well it was amazing so I was going to show you the water but we completely forgot in our excitement so we tipped it down the sink um, but I can assure you it did suck out whatever was down there it sucked it out so I'm hoping it will discourage Bo from from going there again in fact I think he might be trying to go to the toilet now so we will we will avert our gaze and we'll look at the beautiful sunset instead <laughs> so I'm gonna let that dry properly overnight because it does suck it all out but it does still leave it hello Molly it does still leave it a little bit damp doesn't it girl you're good you don't do any apart from the sick you are sick sometimes no I don't think he's been to the toilet but no it was really really a good product to be honest I am it's a lifesaver I actually feel like it's given give me giving me back my clean home again so and it's brand new carpet so I was really annoyed but you can't make them oh no he's doing a wee now there you go we'll avert we'll avert our gaze um so that's so Bo is a two wee one poo cat but like i say he's chosen to do all his business outside um so I'm, that's his afternoon wee so i'm really really glad i think he's finished so we'll do a little bit of digging to cover it over because he's a very clean cat <laughs> uh, but he's just taken to going outside and he's decided i am not going to use those trays um and I will go on the carpet if I can't go outside. So that's his second wee of the day. So we should be okay for, for the night time. So I don't have to put the puppy pads back down again. There we go. A little bit of a mini zoomy. Um, so I would highly recommend that Pet Pro. But I also can't wait to try it out on the upholstery of the sofas and chairs. I really can't wait for that. So, <laughs> uh, I mean, I imagine it would even work on things like headboards and you know office office chair seats if they're fabric would be amazing for so even if you don't have pets i would actually really recommend that i mean if you've got a doormat as well rather than putting it in the washing machine you could probably use that as well uh, there are still some other tools i need to try out but uh, you know it was really good in my opinion it's worth having so i will leave it linked from amazon i do believe it's still there is still some money off on amazon so do go and check out my link um but also you can get it from the bissell store that's in your country so just do whichever way you use i would highly recommend that product <laughs> so i think that's all from me for tonight uh, so i will reconvene with this vlog tomorrow oh we have a flat tire oh, look at this on, my goodness hi everybody matt was very butch he's I changed the tire i know who the <laughs> With the help of his granddad and dad. <laughs> but I still did it. You did do it. And now we are at the tyre shop because it was just a temporary tyre. Yeah. So um, we now need to get a proper tyre fitted. Yeah. Yay, Matt's made a pasta bake for lunch. Bob it for dinner. The evening I've meal. weighed everything out as well. That was a good egg. Look at that. And we've also got some salads as well. <laughs> so yay. Hungry, hungry. Hi everybody, it is Saturday and we have no, been not. shopping. No, it's not, it's Sunday. It is Sunday. I keep getting my days mixed up. Hi everybody, it's Sunday. <laughs> and we've been shopping. And look, we've got some things to feed the birds. So someone did comment in a previous video, might have been the last one, saying, are you going to feed the birds? And yes, we already do. We already have some feeders, not in the back garden, it's in our front garden because we dare not really put much at the back because of all the cats. But anyway, we've upgraded our selection for the birds. So we've bought, I really needed some peanuts. So I've got a big bag of peanuts, but I'll show you that because uh, that's outside. That was actually 19 um, And we got some dried mealworms. I think the robins like those. Uh, this is really, really cute. We like this. It's a little swing bench. And I'm going to hang that up and put some, put some seed in it. It looks like it's got a little bit of a mesh. 
Then there is a kind of bottom feeder tray, floor feeder for robins or small birds. We've also got a lot of these kind of suet balls. Um, there was 50 in a pack. Where's that on somewhere? Uh, but this one is like a refill one. So we'll put those in. We've also got this really cute little teacup bird feeder, which if you can just about see. That looks really, really cute. Might not be very good for the rain, but I'll only put that out on days when it's dry. So maybe keep that for the summer. Then we have a dome robin bird feeder. That one does have a cover. So I might put the mealworms in that. Then we have a lid lock bird seed feeder. Easy fill, easy clean. And they have got little perches that you stick on. Um, and then we bought some car cleaning things, some wash and wax, triple wax, and a new mitt. And that was all from our local B&M. So here's our big bag of peanuts. And here are 50 fat balls. There you go. So lots of food for, the, for our feathered friends. Hi all, it is Tuesday the 28th of February and we are packing to go away on a bit of a mini break. So you will see the full mini break, or what I can film of it of course, um, in the next weekly vlog. So this is why I didn't post this vlog <laughs> yesterday. I tried to get it all edited and filmed yesterday, but it wasn't happening because we were packing and getting the house ready for tomorrow basically oh hello the bathroom door's just opened all by itself i think it's because i've got the window open anyway so we need to finish packing we've got some evening shirts and all bits and bobs um and then we need to have breakfast matt's gone to the gym um and he's gone to get the car washed as well just run it through the regular car wash uh, we hoovered inside yesterday and Oh, the door just banged together. <laughs> if you hear any weird squeaks. And we have success with Bo. I'll just go and show you. So I know this is not very pretty. <laughs> I bought some new puppy pads. Um, these are like carbon fibre ones. And they are very, very good. Uh, just in case. Because this is, this is where he did his toilets. This is not the number twos. He did number ones here on this bit of carpet. So this is what I used the Bissell cleaner on. Again, I'll leave that linked. It's really, really good. So that's all clean. And I bought these puppy pads to put down and a, a little, a little litter tray for here. Now, when we're back off, off our mini break, we're only going away for three days, this will go. I will take away the small tray. This is just because the, the cats won't be going outside. My mom will be coming to make sure that they're fed um, every single day, twice a day but she's not going to let them out because she's not confident with getting them back in, uh, which I can quite understand. So Bo has got to go to the toilet inside. So if this is the area that he prefers, we've got a little tray. I puppy padded the whole area. So if there are any accidents or any over tray spills or whatever, it's not going to ruin the carpet. But if it does, I've got the Bissell, so it's fine. But the one thing that we have done this time, we have swapped the cat litter. Uh, from the wood pellets to clay. Um, it's a bit more expensive, but I thought we'll give it a go. Maybe the issue isn't inside outside. Maybe it's the actual litter. Anyway, I swapped this over yesterday so all the trays are clean. By the way, we have one tray here. We have one tray in the cat hole. We have one tray here. So these are the, are the normal two. We normally have the one in, in the cat hole cupboard 
and we have this one here by the door. So that's normally enough until Bo had this issue. The other area that Bo started to wee on was this bit in the corner here. So again, I've done exactly the same thing. I've got a small tray. I puppy padded the whole area. When we're back, this will go because I do not want this in our living room. That is not going to stay <laughs> in our living room. Um, but Bo today and yesterday has used the new litter. So I think it was an issue of litter. Um, it much prefers the clay. I think it simulates outside a lot more. Um, oh, hang on, you can see me in the mirror here. I haven't had a wash or shower yet because we are t having a drive uh, tomorrow. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you where we're going. <laughs> we're going to Windsor. Um, so we're going to see Windsor Castle on Thursday. Uh, we're having a couple of nights. And we're going to have a good time going around the shops, going around the town. We'll have uh, a walk down the long walk. I don't think Frogmore um, Gardens and House are open at this time of the year. But that's okay, we can always go back. So we are going to Windsor, so that will be in the next vlog. And we're also going to be doing an apartment tour because we're going to be staying in an apartment, a two-bedroom apartment. We're going with Matt's parents. So back to Bo. I think we've resolved the issue. It was an issue of texture. He just decided for whatever reason, after using the wood pellets for over, well, almost all of his life, nearly three years, he decided, I don't like wood pellets. So now we're onto clay. It seems to be working. All the cats have used it. Bo had a wee in the tray on the stairs last night. And then he did a big number two in that one there, <laughs> which, I've, which I've cleaned up. Uh, because every time they do something, I clean it straight away. Right, so the house is looking ready. I've got some piles of clothes to put away. These are what I washed last night. Some things we're going to be wearing today. Some things we're going to be taking with us. I've put the cat food, by the way. The one that Bo really liked is now not in manufacture, so we've had to try a different cat food. This one is Blink. It's I think it's got almost 50% real meat in it. Um, and they do seem to really like it. So that I'm leaving out on the side for my mom. There's some Dreamies, a spare bowl. Uh, we're going to leave lots of food down for them because my mom's not coming until the evening. But that's okay. We've got a bag of things to take with us. The apartment has a bath as well, so I'm so looking forward to having a bath, a, a spa bath, one that bubbles, a jacuzzi. So I am so looking forward to that. We actually brought these, uh, West Lab Soothing Dead Sea Salt Bath Salts. And these are good for, for my eczema and different skin issues. So I'll be able to have a bath with that. We've got a Monopoly and some candles and treats and some <laughs> tissue paper roll stuff. So... All is good. I need to finish off packing. I've cleaned the kitchen, just give it a bit of a bit of a do-over. I have got some things on charge. And that's kind of it. In fact, oh, hello, Bo. He's just come from outside. It's been a bit wet today, as you can see. So it's, it's not very clever. Um, it was nice-ish yesterday. So I'm hoping the weather's going to be really nice tomorrow <laughs> and the day after in Windsor. If it's dry, but cloudy, I think I'll be okay with that. That'll be fine. Hello, Rory. Hello, sweetie. So anyway, I think I am going to end the vlog here. So thank you for watching. Oh, by the way, did you like the bird footage? I was going to tell you. So um, I am going to be filming some birds. I've decided that I am going to feed the birds and film them and try and make some really relaxing bird videos. So if you want me to share the channel, um, if you're interested in it and you do actually want to watch the videos, because I don't think it really works on YouTube if people just subscribe to a channel that they're not actually going to watch. So if you do want to have some watch some videos that you can put on in the background, relaxing bird noise, relaxing birds for your cats or your dogs, um, then leave a comment and I will link the new channel in the next video. Um, so thank you for watching this video. The next time you see us, we'll be um, in Windsor. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media. And of course, do hit that bell so that you know whenever we upload new videos. So from me to you all, and we'll see you in Windsor. Bye.